So after what feels like forever, even though it wasn't all that long, we finally get some new details that emerge on the very highly anticipated, my most anticipated <laughs> film currently in development in the horror genre, Maxine. <laughs> so many X's. So, so wow. many X's. And these are, this is actually a pretty, pretty um, surprising turn of events here because spoilers sort of for the for the last film well the last film in the timeline x <laughs> um we leave off with uh max scene as as the final survivor and we all just assumed that maxine would just be doing some killing to try to get to the top of the of the industry right she wants to be a star and she'll do anything to get there and while i still still think that's very likely that that she will do some very morally questionable things uh to get where she wants to go these new yeah. plot details of that this is going to be a classic who done it slasher is very very interesting and surprising to me because we know who Maxine is yes and there's going to be a killer yeah that's going to be running rampant and killing people around Maxine and there are no survivors of the first film. Right. So that just kind of came out of left field for me, not in a bad way. I totally trust Mia Goth and Ty West yes. um, who are writing and doing this together as they did with Pearl. Um, I, I have full faith a hundred percent. I was just very surprised to read that this is going to have a different killer yeah, and that it's going to remain a mystery right. throughout the film. Yeah. It's definitely like, I don't, I don't know like who to even anticipate it being because it's we Kevin, have Bacon. It. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. After watching hollow man, Dude, this is going to be, be like a law and order bro. or something, you know, where like the fam the most famous like cameo is the killer. Maybe it's possible <laughs> she's going to go and be a star and then like I mean, he plays sudden, a killer well. Dude, he's scary. <laughs> <laughs> he's in I'm it. I'm glad Mrs. Voorhees so, killed him. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it makes me think because like with Pearl and X, like there's such a like a spiritual like bond between them in a like messed up way. So I'm like wondering if it's somehow also going to be related to that like an ancestor like another you know like i don't know somebody that was related to somebody in the pearl movie mm. you know like that's i guess where mm. i'm going that kind of comes back um like pearl has a kid right what or, if her kid looks oh. just like her and then and then mia goth has like a like, third character wild. yeah right like yeah you know pearl has a kid yeah and then Pearl's kid has a kid, <laughs> right? It's her grandkid, yeah. and her grandkid after the after the murder of her of her grandma comes could, after who kills her. Could Maxine be her grandkid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, maybe I guess I, I <laughs> just would so it would cool. be wild. It yeah. would it would be very eighties. That's yeah. very eighties. That's some happy birthday to me shit. That's that like. The, the identical twin, yeah. you know, whatever thing that they love to use in the 80s. Um, but I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking out loud now about that and being like, could it be something like that? Do you think we will see Maxine kill anyone in this movie other than the killer? Like, if she kills mm. the killer, right? Will this be Maxine killing people and also another killer? Hmm. Because um, that makes me wonder now. I thought for sure Maxine was going to be doing the killing. Right. But now that it's a whodunit slasher, I'm like, is she going to be doing any killing? Yeah. I, you know, honestly, like, it, it does make me question. I don't know. I kind of am going to say maybe not now. Like, maybe she's, you know, going to try and do it, like, legitimately by just, like, sleeping with people and not killing people to get her fame that she wants. Because if we really think about Maxine in X, yeah, Maxine isn't a killer, She's right? Not. She doesn't leave 
the the farm or whatever you want to call it. And it's not a farm. What is it? A, I mean, it kind of is like, it's like a farmhouse. Yeah, because they have a, a farm. It home. is a farmhouse because of Pearl. Yeah. It is a farmhouse. So she leaves the farm having killed. Yes. yes. Right. She kills Pearl herself. Spoilers for the movie. Sure. I hope you've seen it. Um, but she's not really a killer. She's a survivor. Yeah. So if you extrapolate that, is she is she more prone to kill maybe but not necessarily well because we've right? kind of speculated that that was awakening something in her and especially after like yeah. x because of the parallels between pearl and maxine like we kind of were like led to think that maybe maxine is going to follow in those types of footsteps sure. right sure but i do think that now that we're introducing this other element where there's like a slasher who done it uh, it makes me think that that's not the case it makes me think that maxine is going a different route if i was to think about x right if pearl didn't exist and when i say pearl i mean the movie not the character within x if the movie pearl didn't exist and we didn't see um you know those uh parallels mm -hmm. between the characters and there wasn't a horror sequel coming out to X. And I was just to do that, like, you know, um, that mental exercise of like, what do you think happened? Like, we do this all the time with other, with films that we love. Like, what do you think happened to these characters after yeah. the movie? If you never get a sequel, you just wonder. If I was to say, if X existed on its own, and I was to say, like, what do you think happened to Maxine after this? I don't think I would be like, oh, she probably went on a killing spree, <laughs> right? Like, I would just think she was a survivor and she went really hard for her acting career. And, you know, because of this, because of this ordeal, it made her more driven and she probably was successful in her career. That's, that's basically what I would have felt leaving off on this movie, right? Having left off on, on X. Because we're making a horror sequel, and because it is horror, I would expect her to kill because she's that main central character. But if we really think about horror franchises, she's the final girl of her movie. Now, yes, she's not she a is. standard traditional final girl yeah. in every sense of the word, right? She's very promiscuous, and yeah. she's very driven by her own self-interests and whatever. That's not a classic... Um, Final girl. But that being said, if we were to think about the typical sequel that we would get, it would be that Maxine is trying to get on with her life and that trouble follows, much yeah. like Sydney, much like Lori, much like any final girl. And so having another killer who pops up around her makes perfect slasher movie sense. Yeah. And 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 shouldn't be all that surprising. I think we're I think we're filling in things because of stuff that we've been given to make us go down that path but i don't think it it's actually it, i don't actually think it fits maxine if we really think about the character well, in the movie i do think that like because of the context we get for pearl in pearl in that film i do think that that changes like how we're viewing maxine because we can see yeah. the similarities because they're played by the same stories. actresses too. And, and because <laughs> of that right actress, but it's so. like the similarities are so clearly there so it's like you know you just you kind of gravitate towards like comparing them but what i would really like to see is because we're talking about maxine as this like kind of um non-traditional like slash or final girl i would i would like like in Maxine for there to be kind of this like neon demon sort of vibe. I of, definitely like, think you're getting that girls, you know, auditioning and trying to like make it and for the slasher to end up being another like a female again. Like I would think that that I would think that would be really cool to keep going and exploring that path of like female slasher, female final girl and just all of that. But do you think Maxine is going to want to act in more like traditional film and and break away from the porn industry I, what i could see happening actually is for her to get like some kind of like movie deal um for the like events that happen 
at the farm. I actually think what might happen here is that this is going to be a whodunit slasher for an audition, mm. much like we just watched with Curtains. Oh, okay. Where Maxine is called in. I think Kevin Bacon will probably be the either the casting agent or the director. Or the killer. Right, and that. <laughs> um, I think he'll probably be like the, the sleazeball of yeah. the movie who's like, you know, trying to sleep with the starlets or whatever to get the get the job um but i and i think like it'll be like a, a role worth killing for mm. right and and maxine's gonna the the person who's doing this I, do i think it's gonna be personal no not connected to the events of pearl okay um yeah. you think and it's x gonna... i think it, i think it's just gonna be like i want to be a star too yeah oh, right yeah. Okay. and and maxine is just like no I want to be a star more than you. So she encounters like another version of herself in Pearl, basically. Yeah, she's she just, just she up against she that. yeah she goes up against a Pearl basically yeah. who's willing to kill for what she wants. Yeah. and and they both use they both use their um, their talents to try to get what they want, and yeah. and Pearl's is killing and Maxine's is is sex. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this just. I guess I, I, I'm kind of kicking myself a bit for just filling in that blank of that Maxine would just be the killer. I just, it's, I mean, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's under, I think it's a reasonable assumption to make though. <laughs> so I don't think you should kick yourself too much for it because we didn't know what the next film was going to be about a, and no. like, like we were saying, like there's so many similarities between Pearl and it, like it makes sense for Maxine to kind of start going down this path of like, I, like you were saying, like, I want it, I want it so much. Like I can kill for it. I have killed to survive. Like at this point, like, what do I have to lose? You know? I mean, I think we, I think we can like figure it out to a degree though. So I don't think that it's like, we had no idea because we did get the little teaser. Yeah where it's flying over Hollywood and the Hollywood sure. sign is Maxine's name. Right. And it's like, she wants to be a star now. Actually come to think of it. Who could be wanting to kill her? Her congregation. Ah, I completely forgot about this element. I did too. Oh her father's that pastor guy who's yeah. on the TV. I totally forgot so about that So you could have element. some like religious fanatic who is That's part of his congregation mm. coming after her and killing the smut peddlers that like turn their daughter, yeah. like the daughter to the dark side. Yeah. That's it. I totally forgot about that element. So, so you could have, you, you could have some like very devout follower of, of her father yeah. who's coming to you know, uh, kill the influences. <laughs> of, yeah. No, because I don't think they'd go after Maxine in that case. I think, think they're think trying to go eradicate mm. the bad influences around her. Okay. But I think that it might be posed as like competition for the role. Mm. So she thinks that people are like going after a role, but what they're really trying to do, after, like her, which is kind of reminds me of the movie Candyland. Sure. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see, but that just, happened to just come to my mind right now we haven't watched x or pearl in a little while and no. we will 1000 percent be watching them right before yes. this comes out and i can't look forward to that enough yeah. so um but yeah I, I i just think that it was very I, as i said i don't think that there's no like reason why we should have any idea of what is this next one's going to be about we had some we basic did. details we that did. we could put together right but, but this new detail is very fascinating to me and i will say this my final point on this because it has been announced as a whodunit slasher i feel like that basically is telling us that there's absolutely no way that maxine herself is the killer mm. because why make it that to yeah. then reveal Maxine's the killer? I agree. Unless it's like she's Tyler Durden. Yeah, she's like having psychosis fight club, right now. Yeah. And she like becomes Pearl in her head and doesn't know she's doing it. I mean, that would be pretty wild, but I, 
I don't know. I don't think it's that, but I guess it could be. It could be. It could be. But to make, yeah. So it's possible. It's possible. But I really see that being the only way because I do think people are going to be dying around per uh, Maxine. Yeah. And that it's going to be like, who the hell's doing this? So remains to be seen, but I want to see a lot of sex <laughs> and a lot of death. Yeah. And this is going to be, if this movie can land, telling you right now this will be the king of the horror trilogy because i know of no horror trilogy that will be better yeah. currently yeah like an actual rounded trilogy not like a trilogy within a franchise that has 40 films right. i'm talking about an actual one two and three done kind of thing yeah i don't know i don't know any that's that has the competition for this currently no no i don't either the original no. omen trilogy is really good even though there is a part four that that shit don't count <laughs> <laughs> i know that's cheating a bit but that really was supposed to be a trilogy and then they tacked on some bullshit made for tv <laughs> like sequel thing that's not really part of it but that's a really solid tr trilogy this i have such faith in this yeah. this will be the biggest shock to me if i don't love it you got mia goth in this beloved duology currently there's no way they're not landing this for me yeah and this will be my favorite film of next year yeah i if, will be if shocked if it. it doesn't land for us but because i'm very excited very very excited yeah so, so that's that guys what yeah. do you guys think of these new details and do you think we'll get a trailer anytime soon they wrapped this movie back in like May, I think. Mm -hmm. And we are almost in October. So you're talking almost five months. Uh, I don't think there's any chance we're getting it this year. But who knows? They could drop the news that they're that they're popping it out on Halloween or wild. something. And I would just be over the moon on that. Yeah. So here's the hoping. But as long as the product is great, I'm willing to wait. Me too. That's going to be a shirt. As great. long as the product is great, I'm willing we're willing to, to wait. wait. Or I'm willing we're to wait. We're willing to wait. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let us know.